in this brief lesson, we would see what are the ways to expose some of the simple gamakas for a specific raga, for instance, Maya Manava Gaula. I would play a few swaras with no gamakas and gamakas to varying degrees. They were the Saptaswaras in the ascending and descending order. What I played just now did not have any Gamaka for any of the Swaras. Now, let us try to expose the Swaras with little bit of Gamakas. We had different styles of playing violin on the Carnatic side. My style of playing violin as taught to me by my great gurus, they heavily rely on using few fingers as possible, but using other fingers for Aniswaras. You can play the Saptaswaras entirely using just one finger, the index finger. So I just use index finger for playing the swaras ri ga ma and dha ni. Sa re That was ri which used sa for support. But Sa played a very important role to make Re vibrant. The next one is Ga. Ga. In this example, Ma did not have any Gamaka. So when I combine Sa, Re, Ga, and Ma, We would apply the same approach to Padha Nisa on the E string. No Gamaka for Sa. Now 
on the descending notes sani dhapa sa the higher sa for support sani 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 da Now we will try to add gamaka for pa. Earlier we played pa on E string, like that. Now we will try to play pa as. So now I made the map plain. It can also be to add the final layer of flavor. We would now include the anuswaras, which is done especially during descending.
as I mentioned earlier, each swara can have different forms of gamaka. So there is no hard and fast rule that a swara should follow specifically only a particular gamaka. What gamakas to use would depend on the context. How swaras are combined to make the phrase of the ragam. Typically, a group of swaras is called the melam. Swara melanam iti ragaha. The swaras combine in a specific fashion with their associated gamakas to give rise to a melam. And an elaborate rendition of a raga is made up of several melas. So all the theory or the rules would apply depending on what raga we are playing. That would determine what are the gamakas which are valid, which are not valid. Again, the style of playing would determine what fingers are used to make the gamakas effective. 